Hi. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about this uh, $25 dial caliper. And really, for the money, it's not bad. Uh, I spent some time with a with a fine diamond stone uh, deburring areas because they, they come through quite sharp uh, on the edges. Uh, if you hold it up to the light, you can see just the tiniest little space between the uh, internal horns here, which, I don't know, might be a few thousands. So, like all calipers, they're not highly accurate. Uh, and they, they don't claim to be. They, uh, uh, I lost a, lost a zero on the dial. Uh, the... Uh, if you can read that, 0.01 inch per division, which, hey, for $25 caliper, it's not bad. Anyways, uh, the zero used to be up on top, but what I ran into was uh, some chips in the rack, and which I ultimately did manage to get clear. I run. I it uh, it was it was hitting back in here around four inches, and that's where the dial jumped its time. This is, I prefer the arrow to be up at the top away from me, but it really doesn't matter that much. I'm not going to take it apart to uh, uh, try to re get the zero back up on top. Uh, that's risking failure, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I, I managed to uh, blow the chips out of the rack and, and get it back operating smoothly. It did require a little lubrication. It did require some adjustments of these little tiny screws right here. And you screw it up firm till, till the dial won't move. And back it off about an eighth of a turn. And that really satisfied all my uh, problems with it but this thing is $25 and some change it's Chinese it's got a rubber bumper or plastic bumper on the back here which is fine uh, one of these screws was stripped so I'm trying to secure that with uh, uh, with some red Loctite in the, in the screws we'll see how that works out uh, I had one other caliper I lost these pieces that, that hold the, the 